The question often comes as to why we read the Old Testament. I suppose if I had my way, I would get rid of the pages in the Bible that said Old and New Testament, because in reality we have but one Bible that God has revealed to us. All of it being inspired, all of it being profitable for our Christian growth. But granted, there are significant problems with the Old Testament that often make it a closed book to many Christians. There are things in the Old Testament that appear to be outdated, customs and practices that uh, are no longer relevant for us. Uh, there are religious practices that we are to avoid, uh, such as the sacrificing of animals. And there are things in the Old Testament that even appear to be offensive to our Christian, uh, our Christian tastes. How do we handle these? We do so with the realization, first of all, that it is God's word and that everything that God has revealed is for our profit. Of all of the things that God could have said to us, and this is the question that I often ask myself when I come to reading those obscure or difficult passages in the Old Testament, of all the things that God could have revealed to us, why did he say this? And if we keep in mind that we have in the scripture uh, the record of God's redemptive purpose for mankind, beginning with the fall and that first promise of redemption in Genesis chapter 3 and verse uh, 15, when the seed of the woman is promised to be the conqueror of the seed of the serpent. Everything, everything in the Old Testament from the history, from the ceremonies, from the poetry, from the prophecies are all leading to that fullness of time when Jesus would come, made of a woman, made under the law. And as we look at that redemptive history, uh, we see God's uh, interpretation of that redemptive history for us uh, in the scripture. So as I look at the prophecies, as I look at the history, I'm asking myself, what is this revealing to us about the Lord Jesus Christ, his coming? What is it revealing to us about his person, about his work? And if we come to the Old Testament with that perspective that is going to reveal to us God's purpose and God's unfrustratable plan in redemption, uh, and our eyes are open uh, to see the gospel, our eyes are open to see the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, then we will not be disappointed. For this is God's word to us, and it is leading, uh, as the Lord Jesus said, uh, to those on the road to Emmaus, that everything in the Old Testament, uh, the history, the books of Moses, uh, the books of prophecy, and the Psalms, the poetry, all of it spoke concerning him. That's the interpretive clue that Christ gives to us. And therefore, if I'm not seeing Christ in the Old Testament, I'm missing that great interpretational clue that the Lord Jesus himself gives to us, uh, and I'm not seeing it correctly. So let's look at the Old Testament with the spectacles of the gospel, with the spectacles of the Christ. And when we do so, uh, we will not be disappointed.